it is a bit windy today but I think we should wait no longer for harvesting cabbages so partially there are two factors two factors why I gotta harvest it now so well first of all I was too late planting it and I should have done it probably a month before I did they still grew there is still something to harvest uh, however uh, because the February we are in February now and it is way warmer than it well, should be we are having around 20 degrees Celsius so it's slightly too warm for the cabbages and generally the winter veggies so my Julia um, the purple bulls turnips I guess it's the English word so those ones instead of going in the bulb and growing the bulb they actually started flowering and sprouting so it is too hot for them they got stressed about the temperatures they didn't have enough water so they got stressed about temperatures and got into flowers um, and the same goes for cabbages I am afraid that some of them will start going in the flower soon so I will harvest them however they are not as big as I had them last year so let's go into that and after that we will probably harvest some lemons too so this is what I meant um, those plants you see the ones growing the bulb over there they started going in the flower meaning that well probably they're not gonna be as tasty uh, and they are not big enough they are not as big as they potentially can get due to the warmer temperatures those last weeks so yeah let's harvest that As you can see, this is this is a joke. This is not really a turnip. Turnip? I guess it's a turnip. So yeah, normally they grow to be about this size. And I am quite disappointed, but well, you cannot control the weather. You cannot control how warm it is, and it's still gonna be tasty. This one is better. It's still too small. Had bigger ones last year. What? Oh, you don't like the smell, eh? So, what can I do? We will eat the small ones. You wanna? This is not even a bite. I, I feel really disappointed, mostly myself because because I could have planted this earlier. I could have got bigger ones when it was still cold. We have very cold, uh, very, very short cold period. So it is something to keep in mind for the next year to actually start the winter plants earlier and the cat is eating <laughs> eating the tripod <laughs> that's why it's moving <laughs> okay I got one more left let me fix it so I have one more left where is it oh yeah over there this one I think I think this one is gonna be a bit bigger. I hope. It looks not very big though. 
still a joke rather than proper only. Ah, okay. Let's go. So this is a normal size. This one is a normal size. I do not know what the difference since they were growing literally next to each other, received the same amount of water, same amount of weeding. This one grown to be a normal size. So here we are. That's the regular size of this hooli turnip purple ball. Okay, now the spinach, um, it did not grow very well, uh, maybe you remember from the previous videos, uh, so it did not grow very well, what was the problem, what I identified as the problem was uh, acidity of the soil, it was too alkaline, it was completely alkaline, so what I did was uh, sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit of ash around it and that improved the growth dramatically and the quality actually look at those beautiful leaves it's it's beautiful spinach a bit dirty and dusty but still a beautiful spinach that they got so yeah the problem was the acidity so let's harvest those ones too before they go to flower so pretty i'm proud of myself with this one at least as much as I'm disappointed in myself with those balls. This one will not very pretty. Maybe there will be something to cook on this. Okay, those ones are still small, so I will leave them, let them grow a bit. Hopefully they will not go into the flowering mode. We will see. leaves from the bottom. Oh, overall that is a very pretty spinach for me. I'm slowly running out of space in the basket. The spinach took a lot of it. So let's find let's find some bucket or box or something because we still have a lot of things that have to go sadly before they reach their full potential. So let's go. Who is the smallest cat? But we have the, the green thing, not the fluffy thing. <laughs> the green thing is uh, rucola or roca. Uh, it needs a bit colder weather. And right now it's in the baby state or stage, which is the most tasty, the least bitter. <laughs> Come on. So I will harvest here and there, partially to make it less crowded. So it grows better and bigger and I will put it in a smaller box. As every time, we always have beetroots to harvest, so let me get whatever is big enough to, well, get. And we will see what's next.
not too big. Some cabbages are doing great, like, well, let's say this one. Uh, it's doing nice, it will grow to regular size, I hope. But what I'm having problem with is the Italian variety with the thick leaves. Uh, I was really, really hopeful for those. Uh, seems that uh, next year will be my season. So yeah, I will get whatever is looking suspiciously ready to bloom. Serious size. <laughs> I guess you could you could count it as overgrown Brussels sprout. <laughs> I promise you guys, last year I had normal size of cabbages. So that's about it. Not only it started raining, I decided to leave everything else to actually let it bloom and harvest the seeds eventually. I hope it will get to seed. Uh, and then I got my lesson on starting the seeds way, way earlier than I did. So I will probably start those seeds for cabbages around July or August in some cold place because it's going to be too hot if I just leave them in the open. So yeah, since it rains, I gotta run to harvest the laundry. Oh.